You know what? I'll even do a full game informative for you guys, okay? How to stomp Korean Masters hobbies. Let's go. So this game, what I have to do is I have to do Wolf Start. And the reason why is because the enemy bot's going to hard shove early because it's Cade Lux, okay? So since I know they're going to hard shove early, I want to make sure that I'm pathing towards bot um, very early on so that I can impact that lane. The reason why I want to do a 4 cam clear though and not a 3 cam clear is because we're on blue side this game. Which means if Viego full clears his top side and then goes for a bot gank or a bot dive, then the thing about that is that I need to be there to counter it on a good timer. And the good timer that I'd be countering it on would be four camps, not three. Three camps, I'd get there too early. So that's why we have to do uh, four camps this game. So it looks like I need bot is shoving, which is what I expected. So all I need to do now is since they have no flashes, just look for a free bot gank. So I'm just going to ping them off and sell them coming. Perfect. So Lux has... <sighs> that is the saddest thing ever. I was going to say Lux has no Q because she's not level 2. And then the second I go for the gang, she hits level 2. That's so crazy. Alright, I'm just going to ward to counter the dive and... I need to wait here. Because if I reset now, they might get dove. And if they do that, it's really bad for us. Alright, now we can just come in and get the double though. Perfect. So that's why, like, patience was very, very, very key there. And now I can just get my reset off. And... This game, since I'm going Conquer, I want an insane early spike. So we're going to do this here. When I'm doing Phase Rush, since I played a more so scale into two items, it's better to not go Doran's. But when Conquer, it's kind of like you're playing to some games early. So going, uh, going Doran's played with Conquer is, like, fine. So I'm just going to play for refill clear, and then we're going to try for another block gank. Okay, so it looks like this is going to bounce towards us, which is really good. So we just got free gank opportunity bot now. So what we're going to do is we're going to probably look for a bot gank. And then after the bot gank, I'm going to want to look for a uh, dragon. If I can dodge her Q. Bro, there is no way. Okay. I mean, it kind of sucks that... <sighs> Damn. If she would have actually died, it would have been, like, so much better, but it's okay. Now we just get Ionian, another longsword, and now we're good. Out of base, I just went path instantly for this dragon, and the reason why is because I... I think it's just going to be really good for me. Actually, Nico has no flash. If Pike walks mid, is a free kill. Perfect. So I'm get the free kill on Nico, and then that sets us up for Dragon. We just take this for free now. Jace rotating down as well. Perfect. No, no, Jace, you need to come here. 
Because if uh, Viego collapses with Lux, it's really bad for us. Okay. So what I kind of want to do is I just want to reset. Actually? Yeah, I mean, I just had to pull my ghost and run there because I really don't want to die. Probably just gonna reset and go for my uh, full clear now. Actually, I'm not gonna do a full clear, and I'll tell you guys why. Because the thing is that I'm actually very close to a level six timer, and my entire bot side's respawning. So my play actually is here is to go Raptors into Red, or Red into Krugs, and then just go for a share of bot tank with level six. Lux has no flash too, so we're gonna abuse that. So I just need to find my bot side now. I think this here I'm just gonna drop my red and do this because if I don't, Nico will collapse on me and I die. So I actually have to give this red. And I just even pray to the RNG gods that I hit level six off uh, Krugs. Because if I do that, I just get a double kill volume. No, oh, GG. RNG gods did not come through. You guys notice how I started hitting the minions? It's because I knew I was extremely close to six. <clears throat> so because I wanted to just like kill the minions so I could actually pop six and then get the kill. Now we just pop straight top side. Yeah, Nico doesn't have any items at all, so I kind of want to look for her. To be honest, Viego's forced to reset, and I'm pretty sure they used everything there as well. Okay. All you guys can do is the bare minimum. Literally, all they need to do is the bare minimum here, and they win. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, I don't know why this Jace is AFK. Jace just completely like threw our entire early game by not rotating there. But the enemy team has like literally nothing here, so if we just force this, then we can easily take the neutral. When the play goes bad, you have to understand that it doesn't like ruin your game entirely. It just means that you're confronted with another opportunity. Because now enemy team has no ults, they have nothing up, my ult's coming up in 20, right? So I can use this as an opportunity to just force a herald, and the enemy team is not showing than us. So if they collapse on me here, I have ghosts, I have ult, I have everything, and they have like literally no ults, I have nothing. So let them collapse on me. We'll see what happens. And then I just want to go for kill them on off fight. Hmm. Nah, it's better. He's just going to back off, so I'm just going to play for full clear now. Because if I play for full clear, then for the dragon, I have my ult and ghost. If I commit my ult and ghost for a Malphite kill, then I'm not as strong for dragon. So it's better for me just full clear. This is extremely annoying though. I'll just ghost from. I don't care. It's like... I can't believe his ult was actually up there. It's like I didn't want to do that, but then, I don't know. That was emotional. I should have just let him run. But I was scared that if I let him run, that he would, like, come back for me. With his, like, ult and stuff. So that's why I wanted to, like... It's okay, though. We might have to give a second drag now because I... I don't have my ult or my ghost for it.
Kill Nico is extremely low. Enemy bot is forced to reset as well. I want to look for Dragon here, but... Mm. Yeah, that's not my play. If Diego gets Dragon, it is what it is. I can't actually do anything about it. Reset for my Shoujo and then play for Top Crab. If he gets Dragon, I invade his top side and I tried that. We're going to outscale the enemy team anyway, so it's okay. Giving one Dragon when we already have the first is fine. Yeah, see? So the problem here is that Malphite could rotate down. I'm just gonna hold mid though. Hold mid and then force on this. Vegos on his uh, bot side, which is fine. It means I got his top side. So now we're gonna get two plates mid and we also get his entire top side. Wait, unless he's going for a play. I think I griefed that by chasing the Luxor. I think what I should have done is I should have just um, went on the front line with my team. I wasn't expecting a flash, so that's why. Viego, so we just collapse on him here. Wait, there's only one back in? Wow, it's gonna work. That's the saddest shit I've ever seen in my entire life. <sighs> mm, I mean, it's fine. I'll just start building shard and I'll be, f I'll be okay. The good news is that at least mid lane gets her too. I really want to look for this bounty on uh, Kaelin. If I don't get the Kaelin bounty, it's gonna be really bad. So what I'll probably do here is I'll just look for Full Clear Roy's Dragon and then we can probably play for that. Yeah, I kind of just want to play for some kind of bot type now. The way to redeem this game is if we got the kill on Kaelin. We're going to lose mid tower, but if I can trade for 1k bounty, it's game winning. I'm just gonna wait here actually. Now if I wait here they're gonna walk up and ward. I'll just wait right over here. They're not gonna check this. She might eat this bush but she'll never eat the alcove. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. I don't think they had vision to me. Alright, that's the game winner right there. Woo! That's the game winner right there. The alcove play saved the game. Nice. And now we just get this tower for free. Oh my god, that's actually so insanely huge for me.
Perfect. So we got the one here on Caitlyn. We got the shots out on Viego as well. Now we reset. Get my Shrike Breaker. It's looking like a GG. 100% we're going to contest the Dragon. I don't have vaults up for this, but what I want to do is I want to contest Dragon, then clear upwards, and then just play for the, um, play for the, uh, Herald. Hmm, Malphite coming in. Lux is top, though. I think that's okay. Yeah, yeah, we can we can commit for this. Enemy team is trading Herald for Dragon. That's fine for me. Wait, what? Oh, I mean, Swain might go crazy here though. Huh. I'm gonna be honest, I thought they were trading. I didn't realize it would actually... I didn't realize it would actually, like... Hmm, my bad. I definitely need to get Serax into Spur Visage, though. Serax, just so I don't get, like, one-shot by the Nico. But Nico has no flash now, so I guess it's okay. There's a chance that we could actually get to the Herald in time as well, by the way. Yep, we're gonna fight this. Nico has an ult. Wait, didn't this small fight already ult earlier? Oh, the answer was no. Oh, keep going. I'll let my team chase the Lux and then I'll go for the killing. Oh, actually? Nice. Well, that's huge. Who left the massive shutdown? Swain? Okay, that's actually insanely worth. So enemy team gets Herald and then we just got everything. I'm just going to clear his entire bot right now. Yeah, he's going to be tilted coming out of base. Imagine just losing four camps like that. Oh my god. I'd be pissed. I'm not going to greet Gromp though. I think we just force mid, honestly. We have an opportunity just to force right now. Yep. Because uh, Malphite spot with no TP. Perfect. I mean, they can never turn this. Even if he tries going back and he's just trolling. Let's go, Swain. Let's go, Swain! Just don't die. Oh! <laughs> Looking like a little game winner now. And I'll just start building Serax. Once I get Serax completed, it's going to be huge. I'm just going to sell my Doran's Blade because I know for a fact that once we get the Inner Tower here, I'll have enough gold to buy my Serax. And then we can just... Um, see what I want to do after. Maybe I want to look for Baron. I'm not sure yet. Okay, well, the good news is now I have the items I need to actually start like going crazy. <laughs> With Serax, I don't get one shotted anymore. Just gonna clear this vision.
Is everything gonna look to open up our... Oh, they are. Hmm. Wait, Swain got caught. That's really bad. I don't want to go and wait. Hold on. Jace has an insane split. If we just don't die here, it's huge. Bro, just please don't die. Yeah, I just really need not die. Hmm. I wonder if we could actually contest this. We have a TB coming in? I mean, if I don't ult out there, I'm just sad. Mm, I'm just going to ghost out. <sighs> I mean, listen, I'm going to be honest with you guys. What we really need is just a group as five. Five barn, five barn, five barn. Okay, nice. That's actually huge. Now what I can do is I can just get an elixir. I really just want to like force on this. The thing is, this game is just so difficult right now. His problem is that the enemy team is like chain CC and then insane burst as well. But I mean, the real issue is the fact that Swain and Orn both died before the fight even like started. Like they got caught. I really, really, really want to look for a fight right now. Perfect. Now we're just on top. Whew! I'm gonna be honest, guys. Having the hard losing mid on top of this game actually made me think it was over, but hey. <laughs> There's a reason why I'm the best hacker in the world. Legit. What a crazy game, though. I mean, there were just like a few like pretty cringe fights that happened. I think could have won like a lot better. Nice. Not too shabby. It, it's like it is not too shabby in the slightest. Perfect. Easy.